Hey everybody, I'm gonna make a video about total boat wet edge. I wanted to show you guys the boat that I'm painting right now. There's been a lot of misconceptions about this paint and I think it gets a bad rap because people aren't using it properly. So let me show you, this is uh, O'Day 27. It's got three coats up here. The blue wet edge has two coats. Got two coats on this little stripe. I gotta do a third and then I'll call it good. So a couple things I wanna talk about with this paint is this stuff, you know, it's a one part poly paint. Um, when I applied this, I used the their Total Boat foam rollers with their recommended Red Tree 3 inch badger hair brush. I did a roll and tip with each coat. Um, oh, before I forget, so Total Boat one part primer was added to the hull over the fiberglass before the paint and then that was um, smoothed out and cleaned up before the paint was added. And I think I used a 220 to clean that up. And then I've been using a Scotch-Brite and around a 320 to 400 grit between each coat of the wet edge paint to kind of clean it up. Kind of give you an idea. That's the gloss finish. I mean, it, it'll flow out right if you do it right. I mean, it's not a spray job quality, but I would say that I'm not a pro, pro painter here and my ability to spray probably wouldn't look any better. You know, if you do a roll and tip and take your time and do it right, I mean, it'll look really good. So a couple th points I want to make on this is I wouldn't even paint this boat unless it's 70 degrees or even lower. So here in Utah, humidity is pretty low. I mean, it averages probably 20% or less unless storms are coming through. So I wouldn't paint unless it was a really nice cool day and I would start in the morning pretty early. I would paint this boat when it was still about 60 degrees, maybe even a little less. And I'd get my paint on, you know, as early as possible to let it flow out um, and then let it cure as the day warmed up to, you know, up into the mid 80s. And, um, you know, another thing to point out is between each coat, I would wait at least three days. I tried doing a day or two after and the paint just wasn't quite cured. And this is with really thin coats. Um, you know, if you apply it too thick, you'll get a run. In fact, there's one right there. I gotta fix that. I'll knock that down with some 1200 grit or 1500 grit wet sand and cut and buff it. Um, if you wait the three days, this stuff is really strong and really durable. It, you can't scratch it with your fingernail. I mean, it's a nice solid shell, but it does take like three days. So total boat, 24 hours on your on your technical data saying 24 hours to cure, that's wrong. You guys need to just be honest and tell people to wait two to three days. You know, I, I learned that three days was kind of the king when it came to cure time with this paint. Anytime I tried to cheat and go earlier, I just gummed up my sanding discs or um, if, you, if you try to put your second coat on and you do your special brush thinner wipe, solvent wipe before you apply it, you can literally have the paint curl up on you. But after three days, you don't get that. So waiting is king. It took me, I mean, it's taken me almost a month to paint this boat because of it, which kind of sucks, but you know, it's not a two part paint. So what do you do to one part? So a couple things, you know, don't paint this stuff. If it's gonna be 80 degrees, try to paint it if it's gonna be 70 or less and let it warm up as the day goes. If you do it too cold, it won't cure either, so. You know, I found that 60 to 70 degrees is great. Um, you got to thin it with the special brush thinner they sell. It seriously does not look good if you don't. It will go on like orange peel. It won't cure properly. It's just a freaking mess. So the thinner is a must. You know, they say 10 to 15. I went with the with Andy's method at Boatworks today on YouTube. He thins it till he gets a five or six count after stirring it. 
and I got to tell you that is a great way to do it um, and then again I used the foam rollers that Total Boat sells with the three inch badger hair brush to roll and tip it's a red tree um, I also use the little four inch mohair red tree eighth inch nap rollers if I didn't want to roll and tip um, I actually did the stripes with that and I did still tip it which it kind of I mean you can see it's pretty pretty much the same I do find that the four inch mohair rollers they tend to give it a little bit more of an even coating than the foam the foam rollers you got to really watch because like I said you'll get a run that you just were not expecting even after you work the paint so but like I said you wait three days you can wet sand this stuff and cut and buff it and it'll look amazing still so I mean we'll see how it lasts over the long term I'm waiting until I hit the dock and have to do a re actual repair but yeah looks a hell of a lot better than it did oh and by the way that is a uh, the paint on the bottom is a total boat ablative anti-foul paint as well matches pretty good so it's just regular white with Largo blue striping. So anyway, if you have any questions, you know, reach out to me.